Hello everyone, welcome to the Elite Wave Dashforecast.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Tuesday, May 17. The time is 1 a.m. GMT. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Ethereum. This is a 90 minutes chart here. We have right side down, meaning we favor more downside uh, and we got a bearish kind of market with the right side down in red color like this. Now we can see we ended with two. And now this is only partial view, obviously, but we finished with two, three, four, five, ending with A here, as you can see. So now we're looking for a WXY structure, right? We are looking for WXY structure to finish the B uh, over here. So it's a bigger rally, as you can see, before it continues to go down again. So, um, in a nutshell, it's very simple. We are looking for a bigger rally, and as long as we stay, actually, this is not the most important level. I will show you when we look at the larger time frame what the more important level is. But uh, first of all, in order for us to understand what the important level is, we need to know where the beginning of this A is. So, in other words, uh, this A is in a five waves, but we only see two, three, four, five here. So we need to know where's the width one and where's the beginning of width one, which is also the beginning of width A. That will be the most important level. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, if I zoom out, and this is a daily time frame of the um, Ethereum, let me copy this A here, which is a five waves down right here. All right, so. Um, the more important level for Ethereum is the beginning of with A. So if this is with A, this is really in the beginning here. So this is the more important level for the Ethereum uh, not to be broken. And I draw a descending trend line here. So we're still very well entrenched to the downside despite the rally, right? We can rally a lot. We can rally 20% and still it doesn't change the bearish view, right? So as long as Ethereum does not break and close above this trend line, technically this is a bearish market. You can see we got a lower low here uh, and simple measurement from the peak over here will give us a possible 100% target all the way down to 873, right? Very, um, might be very um, unbelievable to some people. Right, especially if you're bullish, uh, Bitcoin and cryptos in general, but um, yeah, but that's what the chart is saying. As long as we don't break above <coughs> this trend line, okay. If we break above this trend line, then of course this cycle can be completed without reaching the hundred percent. But at this at this moment, there is no reason not to believe we cannot reach the hundred percent, right? And so the B technically is going to be correcting. This B here, this B, is going to be correcting this entire decline. So you can see it is a, it is a pretty decent rally. It's a pretty decent correction. Uh, again, my rule of thumb is that if it is a with B, I want to see at minimum some sort of 38.2% uh, retracement, right? Ideally, it can be even more, like a 50%. Or even 61.8 but at minimum I want to see 38.2 percent in order for me to consider this as a credible with B anything below 38.2 percent is too shallow to be a B <clears throat> okay anything below 38.2 is too shallow to be a correction of this entire decline so I want to see at least 38.2 can even go to 50 or 61.8 but I don't want to see it breaks above this trend line <clears throat> okay so now we still don't know where this is going to end up finishing the B, right? But um, you can see right here, if you use the WX in blue here, technically later on this WXY, that will be counted as a bigger three swing. And the Y should be more or less at the 100% extension of the W. Uh, and ideally, again, it overlaps with this minimum 38.2 or even higher right to finish so we're still in progress right now that doesn't mean it suddenly becomes bullish again uh, if it is bullish um, we would have put uh, the arrow at the lows with a green but it is not 
bullets. It is Paris. So uh, in fact, we can just go down from here straight down because it's Paris, right? But it wouldn't probably be a B if we go down from here. Uh, so if we go down from here, then probably we're still ending with A. Uh, so right, so we can just open up another extension lower. So we can call this one, two, three, four, and then five like this. But as long as we don't break the new low again, we can uh, start slowly to uh, to correct further on the upside. But don't mistake that as a new bullish uh, market or something like that. It's still firmly in the bearish side at this point. Okay, so that's basically the update for Ethereum. And as always, if you want to get regular updates on cryptos, forex commodities indices, feel free. Uh, we got a 14 day trial, and I put the link in the description of the video. So I'll see you all again tomorrow, and have a nice day, everyone.